And my Baruch and Madonna was that I was beginning to collect interviews with people, interesting people. And I went to this man's house and he had on like a white Panama suit and hat and everything. And he looked very mysterious. And, and so among other things, he showed me this picture that is the cover of the Broken Madonna. And I was so intrigued with her because I was thinking in the back of my mind, I really should get a divorce. <laughs> and, so, and so I was thinking how she looked all shaved and barren and bare and maybe just new <laughs> in, in a way, not destroyed so much as, as new, you know, something new happening there. So I put an ad in the paper, in the, in the Woodstock paper, and said, I'm th thinking of collecting poetry and photographs of Woodstock women under the title of Broken Madonna. If that appeals to anybody, send them to me and I put my address there. And I started getting all these pictures. And then some of them were from really well-known uh, writers, and some of them were for, for people that were known about town, and then some of them were for just young girls in their losing their first love affair or contemplating their first love affair. They were just a mixture that was really nice. And so you were always finding somebody that would talk to you. I mean, there was no hesitation about us all talking to each other and all having a wonderful time. But the Broken Madonna just became, because a lot of women were losing leaving their homes. A lot of middle-aged women were leaving their homes and were looking for religious ways and for Buddha, for the Buddha already, but we didn't know about the Buddha being so close. <laughs> so everybody was looking for something. And so I got these papers and I started with this. And I got the idea, I'd like to see it on video. So I made the arrangements okay with the video people now it was getting tricky. I didn't know what video even was. You know, I mean, I mean, I knew what that thing in my living room was, but, but I didn't know the, how any of it worked. Everything was funny. Everything was hilarious, and if it, we just couldn't stop laughing, <laughs> I don't know to tell you. And see, I was an older person then. I was married and had a child, but I can't really remember how old I was. Why, how I ever did all that, or however I got started, I just loved everything that came my way. And then these people trusted me with their work. I forgot about how much they, how much they trusted me with their work until I came across it just recently and saw that I have all that still. And the person that, that filmed my video for me was Gary Hill. Now, Gary Hill was about 20 years old here, and he was a young sculptor. The Broken Madonna. The Madonna had fallen, shattered, dismembered, serenity grotesque in pain. Man passing by, unnerved, disorientated, advising and believing. If she can get to the right hands, he will make her whole. And so I thought, oh, well, he's a pretty good one. He's an artist, and he'll be, be doing the filming. We didn't know anything we were doing, not anything. And I'd say, and he'd say, what are we going to do here? I said, we're going to get, we're going to go across a beautiful meadow, all white birches. And when we get to the end of it, you're going to think we're going to drop off. But we're going to drop to the Wapner's house. And they have a brand new house up here. And his, his wife is a sculptor. And she made, just made a great big box out of satin bricks. And we're gonna put this little woman in it who's a poet, and we're gonna have her read a poem in that box. How about that? Oh, he <laughs> rolls his eyes around, you know. So we did do that, and I have the evidence of that, but it, it just didn't come out well at all. I shelter the rooms filled with fragrant ancient china urns and soft, brilliant red flowers. And so then don't forget, it's been riding along with me all these years later. I'm always aware of it, and I'm always in touch with some of the women 
that had read the poetry. So we did a lot of things. A lot of people stayed and lived with me for a while because they, they needed to have a place where their kids could visit or something. And I don't know, I don't know what happened to my own sons. <laughs> I had all these long-haired girls in my house with <laughs> washing their hair every weekend. And whose kid was that? And everything. Anyhow, it was, um, the, the energy was wonderful, like a really fresh start in life. Think it over. And so I put it aside because the video left. And so I couldn't just go back to the book. The book after the video, that would just seem to me not enough because I had already seen a few of the, the things that... So I, and I moved on and I, my time was taken with other things. I, it was always emergency time for me, but it always was time that I made lots of friends and had a great deal of fun and learned something new every day. You know, I mean, it was like exciting. And just hanging around here with the baby, I had time to listen to everything. I met all the writers, all the, all the new new artists, and then all the older artists, like the, we were in the Artists Association. And so I got friendly with everybody. Everybody knew who I was. And because I interrupt and ask questions and go home with them for lunch and <laughs> rock the babies. Every woman of spirit has the capability of being all women. This renders infidelity the ultimate farce. Man seems to hunger for anterior excursions, woman for interior expression. We all have our own story and the limit of it lies within the breadth of our expectations and the willing of our spirit to change. Jesus on 